Peace ladies, welcome back to the Modern Goddess channel. So in this video, I'm gonna hopefully help you to better understand some of the concerns that you have in your relationship with your masculine man. These are things that I hear a lot of women complain about, especially women that are not used to having a masculine man in their life. And so they're still kind of getting acclimated to certain qualities that these men have. And sometimes they feel discouraged in their relationship. Sometimes they feel like they're not good enough. Sometimes they feel like they're not being made a priority. Sometimes they feel unheard or dismissed or whatever. And so hopefully this will help you better understand some of that because you know how they say the same things we love about someone are the same things that we strongly dislike about them it's the same thing with masculine feminine energy like so for example men a lot of times do not like our emotions i've never heard a masculine man not have something to say about a feminine woman's emotions however they know that they can't get a nurturing affectionate compassionate sensual vulnerable woman without the emotions that come with it so they're just gonna have to get over it you know but still practice emotional intelligence ladies but they know like that's just part of it you know having a feminine woman so the same applies when having a masculine man there are a lot of things that they do that can be very frustrating for us or annoying for us or that just make us feel bad sometimes but i want you to not take it personally because this is something that kind of just comes with having a masculine man and there's usually always a positive flip side this video is to help you see that positive flip side number one is a very common one and that is when you just want to vent you just want to blow off steam you just want to be heard you just want to make sure that your partner is on the same page with you or whatever and he is trying to give you advice you don't want his advice you didn't ask for his advice you did not request his advice <laughs> But he's going to give it to you anyway because he's listening to solve the problem for you. And a lot of times he'll only listen long enough until he feels like he can offer you a solution and he'll cut you off. And, you know, it's extremely annoying. It makes you feel unheard. You know, it, it can seem kind of rude. Um, and we don't like that, right? At the same time, the flip side is that that same quality allows him to help relieve stress off of you when you are in a situation where you need a solution that same quality really helps you stay level-headed and kind of stay out of your emotions when you go too far deep in your emotions where you're unable to see a solution in it that quality helps you stay okay well you know what it's no need for me to be this down about it because there is something that can be done about it right so him having that problem solving quality it can be very much so annoying and frustrating at the same time it is a great quality because it does help take some of that burden off of you when it comes to problems that you may have take some of that stress off of you and it does help keep you from falling too far into like a a defeatist mentality where you feel like you're just helpless and hopeless and there's nothing you can do about the situation okay number two when you get a little sassy a little saucy with the tongue you know when you get a little rude a little smart aleck with your mouth and he gets very uh, very forceful with you you know his words become a little harsh he can kind of become a little aggressive in his tone and he might say some things that are not nice at all you know and you might feel disrespected because you're like I didn't cuss at you I didn't yell at you even though you know that you did not have pure intent with what you said you know you had a little nasty nice attitude no matter how well you tried to word it <laughs> you know the intention you know um a lot of times a man will pick up on that especially if he's a smart man he will pick up on that passive aggressive sarcastic energy and if he feels like you're being disrespectful to him or challenging his manhood yeah he's definitely going to some of that uh, might come up out of him you know and he will like raise his voice to kind of like reassert himself as like i'm the man you're not gonna talk to me any kind of way i don't care how you feel right now you know and it's annoying you know it, it does feel disrespectful it does feel like he is um looking down on you as though you're inferior to him or something like that at the same time here's the positive side is that men like that do not let people disrespect him period he has a backbone he is not going to allow people to run over him and not only that he's going to put that same energy towards anyone that comes for you 
he is a protector in that way sometimes men have to show the beast within them so people know this is not the family to mess with i am not the man this is not the woman these are not the children to mess with you got the wrong one you know and so like yes you don't like it when he does that to you but you should appreciate the fact that he has a backbone and that he is capable of getting to that level when he needs to get there now if it's a type of situation where you have a man that is only like that towards you and he lets anybody else talk to him any type of way or he's only like that towards himself like he only puts that energy when somebody's disrespecting him but if somebody comes for you he doesn't protect you in that same way yeah you might be dealing with the case of the immature masculine male all right however if you have a mature divine masculine man yes that er, anybody that comes for you or him or the babies they're going to get that energy you know and not just y'all but like anybody that he's loyal to or that he loves you know they're going to get that energy so you should appreciate that he is not the type of man that's a pushover that's going to allow anybody to talk to him or treat him any kind of way number three when he turns everything into a teachable moment you know and you find yourself sitting through these two three hour long lectures and you're like i don't want this right now i didn't mean for it to get here i just want to have fun i just want to relax can we just watch this movie or you know it could be something that you said that you didn't even mean it in a certain way and he takes it and makes it into this long lesson and you're just like i didn't i don't want we've been talking about this for five hours can we not you know and it's, it's annoying it's annoying and i know that Men might be hearing this, watching this, and they might have no idea what I'm talking about. But the ladies know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's like, it's, we, don't, we don't want that. At the same time, though, ladies, here's the positive flip. A man that is capable of teaching. A man that is intellectual. A man that is able to articulate his thoughts and convey his ideas. A man that reads. A man that learns. A man that studies. A man that can mentally stimulate you. A man that can pour into you intellectually. This is one of the reasons why you fell in love with him in the first place. Because he got you here. Okay? <laughs> he got you here with his intelligence, with his words, with his ability to give you these lectures and these lessons and to teach you, you know? And a man, a man that has this is a dangerous man, <laughs> you know, because it's like, it doesn't make a difference what you're doing, who you with, where you are, you're constantly going to be thinking about him. Like, oh, I remember he told me this, or I remember he said this would happen, or he taught me how to do this, or you're having a conversation with someone else, and you're like, this person does not mentally stimulate me at all, like, boring. You know, it's like, he's just here. He's here. And once he gets you here, it's like, everything else just comes so much more easily. But yes, it's annoying when we don't want him to teach us, because it's like, I don't want this right now. But you have to acknowledge the fact that you have a man that is capable of doing that. You should appreciate the fact that he can teach you something, that he can stimulate you, that he can instill certain principles and things. He is able to help you broaden your perspective on things. You know, that's a beautiful thing, you know, and, and we love it. We already know how attractive and sexy that is. So that's not something that I have to try to explain to you in too much depth. Number four. When you feel like your man is controlling, all right? When he's like, I don't want you talking to this man. I don't want you hanging out with those friends. I don't want you going these places. I don't like you dressing like this. I don't want you posting these type of pictures and things like that. And it's not so much that your man is jealous or insecure. But the way it's explained to me, I'm explaining it to you. A man, of course, is territorial, right? A mature, divine masculine man, they're going to be territorial. They're going to have that warrior protector mentality, right? And anything within his territory, these are things that he protects. These are things that he teaches. These are things that he invests his time and his energy into. These are things that he would lay his life down on the line for. These are things that depend on him, that rely on him. These are things that, that he provides for. You know, it's everything in his territory you know whether it be you children home land whatever it is you know it's his territory right you and i know you might not like the idea of this but you're gonna have to step out of your feelings real quick to understand this you when it comes to a mature divine masculine man in his mind you are within his territory 
right? And so when another man comes in, that's like a security breach. Like, woo, woo, like what is this person doing here? You're not supposed to be around my turn. This is mine, you know. I worked for this. I earned this. I teach this. I protect this. What you doing over here? You know, that's when the err come out. <laughs> that's when that alpha come out, right? And so if you are entertaining these other people then that makes you look bad it makes you look disrespectful it makes you look unappreciative of him as a man it makes you look disloyal it makes you look like you're just not representing him well right and so you're going to get a lot of lectures a lot of arguments and things like that if you do that and you don't like that you don't like to feel like you're being controlled you don't like to feel like you can't do or say anything you can't associate with people without it turning into an argument but it it absolutely will right on the positive flip side this type of energy and mentality within a man keeps you safe you're not going to be out here complaining about oh these people don't respect me or these people don't protect let me tell you something. Let me tell you something real quick. I'm going to just get off track real quick. I'm going to come right back. People can usually tell which type of women do and do not have a masculine man or protector in their lives based off of the way they carry themselves, right? When you carry yourself like the type of woman that is out here just doing anything, saying anything, behaving any type of way, dressing any type of way. People can look at you and they're like, okay, I don't mind trying her because she doesn't seem like the type of woman that anybody is instilling any type of safety principles into. She doesn't look like the type of woman that understands anything about survival. She doesn't look like the type of woman that understands that she is an easy target right now based off of how she is and what she's doing and what she's wearing and the type of people she's around. She doesn't realize that. And usually women that do that don't have that type of guidance in their life. They don't have a protector in their life. But when you have that territorial masculine man in your life, he does put you up on game. He does teach you about different things you should look up for. He does tell you about things that make you an easy target. He does teach you these things. He helps you be safe in his absence you know and pretty much you're going to less likely want to be in situations or in areas where you're going to potentially put yourself at risk or at harm you know and so yeah it's like you're more safe when you have a man like that you're less likely to feel like oh these people are disrespecting me because he's going to teach you what type of woman men just disrespect for no reason and you can sit there and say well that's not right people should respect you regardless i don't really like to deal with the shoulda coulda wouldas i like to deal with reality and realistically <laughs> Certain things are going to cause you to receive disrespect from people, you know? And men that are territorial, they tend to do a really good job at making sure their women are respected, even in their absence. Making sure their women are safe, even in their absence, okay? So yeah, that's the flip side too. You're like, I don't like being controlled. If a man does not have any rules or standards for you in that way, that is one of the reddest flags you will ever perceive okay <laughs> number five when you have a type of man that has high standards and he's constantly trying to motivate you <laughs> in his own way but it seems more like him telling you you're not good enough it seems more like him saying you need to change this you need to change this you need to change that you need to change that and in your mind you're thinking he wants to change me I'm never going to be good enough for him. Nothing I do is ever good enough. You know, like I'll never be the type of woman that he wants. These are the type of thoughts that you have. Even though in his mind, he's thinking, I'm helping her improve. I'm helping her become better. That's what he thinks he's doing. But because he doesn't know how to articulate it or his approach to it is just so grisly that it doesn't feel like he's trying to help. It just feels like he's just not satisfied with you at all right because he doesn't acknowledge the great things as much as you would like him to right so that is the negative to it the positive flip side to that is a he is indeed trying to help you become better especially if you notice he is himself improving then that means that he is trying to grow with you he is challenging you to be a better version of yourself and if you look back to how you were like five years ago you're probably able to acknowledge that you know what i've come a long way and you know you you did the work 
you put in the effort you you made the changes absolutely be proud of yourself you don't want to dismiss or disregard however the fact that he did contribute to that growth by challenging you or just telling you in the first place that it's something that you could improve in because before him you probably had a bunch of people kissing your butt and telling you you're perfect right so a lot of times if you have a good man part of your growth and personal development you can appreciate him for helping you with that you know when he is that type of man in addition to that if a man has high standards like that it makes it less likely that he will entertain just any old type of female out here okay men with higher standards are a lot more disciplined right they're easily turned off by the slightest little things in other women which is a plus side for you because if you're one of the type of women that's actually willing to make the adjustments and work on yourself and grow then it kind of puts you in a position to where you're kind of like i don't want to say you're up here but you kind of stand out amongst the ladies that just want to complain about men and not do the work you know so you should be happy that he has high standards because that means like not just anyone is going to catch his attention just because she knows how to twerk and pose there's so many different aspects in which he's going to expect you to improve in and in your mind you're like he just has unrealistic expectations but at the same time it's like you know what i can be a better version of myself always i can continue being better and i am better you can look back at yourself and just acknowledge your growth and you'll feel so proud and so much more confident and then again like if these other women it's just like <laughs> girl <laughs> number seven you don't like it when he tells you no i don't like it either no one likes to hear the word no right um when you're the type of woman that you're used to getting what you want you're used to manipulating people or influencing or persuading people to do what you want them to do or do things your way or go along with what you want them to do or whatever it can be kind of hard to hear no because you, in your mind you're like you're, he's just so stubborn or whatever and for a lot of masculine men they can be pretty stubborn they can absolutely just tell you no just because they can and it's annoying i don't like it either <laughs> um at the same time though ladies the flip side to this is if you have a man that's not easily influenced that is so sexy, especially nowadays where a lot of men cannot think for themselves. Whatever everybody else says, they say it. What everybody else thinks, they think it. What everybody else says they want, that's what they want. What everybody else says they value, that's what they value. Who everybody else likes, they like. It's just like... So when you have a man that's able to think for himself and can decide for himself what he does and does not want to do, what is and is not right for him, you know, what he does and does not value, what he is and is not willing to do, he can think for himself. And no matter what you do, no matter how sexy you get, no matter, he still can stand firm with his decision, his choices, his values. That, that, is, that is sexy. So you should really appreciate that and see value in the fact that a man is not easily influenced. That's rare. So I don't know how many of you can relate to that. <laughs> but it's, it's sexy so but again you might be dealing with the case of the immature masculine if he's telling you no to everything but then he's easily influenced by everybody else it's kind of like eh, you know but like no when he's just like um no i don't i'm not okay with that or i'm not rocking with that or i'm not doing that with you and he can do that with the outer world and everybody else too that's that takes a whole nother level of maturity and masculinity and it's awesome that really does show great leadership okay it takes a real leader to be able to look at you and be like, no, <laughs> and stick to that, you know, so, yeah. Number eight, you heard this one time and time again. When you feel like you're not being made a priority because you're not getting a lot of quality time, you're not getting as many dates as you would like to get, or, you know, it's just, you just feel lonely a lot, you know, you don't get to talk to him or see him as much. You don't like that none of us like that of course like you miss him every second he walks out of the door even when he's sitting right in front of you and he's busy on his computer and you're just like would you just I'm, I'm like right here like you have to literally get butt naked and stand in front of him for some attention you know I've been there <laughs> you know um the positive flip side is that when a man is productive things are easier for you 
you know when a man is productive he's less likely to be lazy he's less likely to depend on you for things um you're more likely to be able to rely on him for things um usually when a man is productive not just busy it's one thing to be busy but when he's productive he's actually doing something um you're more he's more likely also in addition to you being able to depend on him, him being able to provide for you. But also when a man is very productive, he usually has a much stronger networking system. You know, and you know how they say it's sometimes it's not what you have, it's not what you know, sometimes it's who you know. And productive men tend to network very well, you know, and so that can help you in many ways as well your network you know so you should really be able to appreciate that there are so many women who have men that sit up under them all day every day but they can't rely on that man for anything he's lazy he doesn't know how to fix anything he doesn't know how to do anything he doesn't know anybody he's just he's just there he's like a pet and it's like you know so it's like you that is I shouldn't have to tell you be appreciative of that number nine when he makes decisions without really taking in your input so he might hear what you have to say but if he makes a final decision and he goes against whatever input you offer it can make you feel like he thinks that you are inadequate or that you're not smart enough to make decisions or that you don't have good ideas and you know it, it can make you feel bad about yourself sometimes it can make you feel like he just doesn't value what I have to say and that's very seldom the case you have to trust that as a man that is going to be considered the head of the household and the leader of the home that he is going to make decisions with your best interest and heart and mind as well and the positive thing about all of this is that that means he's a leader that means if you don't have a man that's coming to you every two seconds like oh i need help with this decision or i don't know what to do about this or what should i do about that and that means you don't have a boy you have a grown man that is capable of making his own decisions not just for himself but for you for the family this is the type of man that knows how to create a plan this is the type of man that knows how to make things happen. Men that make decisions. Not the type of man that just keeps sitting there thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking until the opportunity just passes them by. Men that make decisions. That is very important. Okay, so yeah, you know, you might not like the fact that he doesn't always come to you for your input, you know, but he doesn't have to. You know, I hate to say it like that. Like, he can hear what you have to say. But he doesn't have to. At the end of the day, the final decision is going to be his. You know, just you chose him to be a man that is going to be a leader in your life. So that's on you if you don't trust his decision making skills, you know. But you want to definitely appreciate that and see the positive in the fact that you have a man that is capable of doing that. And then number 10, just overall, if you have an attractive man, if you have a masculine man, if you have the type of man that is charming, that that other women want you're not going to like the fact especially if you want to be in a monogamous relationship or a monogamous marriage you're not going to like the fact that there are always going to be women coming after your man right it's annoying especially in the beginning like if you're not used to it if you're used to being the one that everybody wants and then you get with the man and then you see everybody wants him it's kind of like like i don't like the way this feels you know um but the flip side to it is like I got a good man you know like a, I got a good one you know my man is awesome he's intelligent he's masculine he's handsome he's charming he's smart he's funny he's this he's that you know and you get you got him he's, he's your man you know so try not to focus too much on these other women and do not make the time you have with your man about other women make it about the two of you you know you make sure that you are securing your position don't be causing other women to cause dysfunction between the two of you because it's possible that he won't even think about them in the first place you know but we're not gonna get into that let's just see the positive in it right and the positive is that she has got a great man you have a, a an amazing man you know so think about it in that way instead of focusing on the other women you know so that's it for this video hopefully it helps make sure that if any of these things are concerns for you you are still able to voice it and express it and communicate it in a feminine effective manner however sometimes it doesn't make a difference how well you communicate it you probably still gonna have to deal with some of these things on this list if not all of them because it's just embedded in most masculine men <laughs> 
you know so um learn how to see the positive in a lot of these things and learn how to cope with some of these things and figure out how you can self-soothe so that you won't feel so bad in a lot of these situations practice emotional intelligence and that's it peace and much love